Hey guys, Izzy here with Donnie FL. Uh, today we got quite a few things to talk about. As you can see, we got two of them right here. And at the end of the barrel there, there's a couple of more things that we're going to be talking about shortly. But we're mainly going to be focusing on the guns themselves today. So you're probably wondering, what guns are they? Well, JTS uh, air guns sent these in for us. Uh, we got two of them. One of them is the Air Cuda Max, and the other one is just the standard Air Cuda. Um, we got our suppressors on them, um, and we're going to go into a little more detail on them today and talk about what they have, what adjustabilities they have, and whatnot, and fill pressures, and some of the, all that good stuff. So, I'm going to start out with the Air Cuda Max, which is the one closest to me right here. I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. Well, actually, before that, we are going to talk about what comes with the gun itself. So you open the box, you see your gun is going to come wrapped nicely in foam and in a package. Um, but it does have a couple of things in there, and we're going to go ahead and show you. So first things first, here, uh, we got a seal kit so we got a couple of the uh, Delrin washers here for the uh, gauges and a couple of o-rings as well in case you need to rebuild the seals on the gun itself um, so it's nice you know uh, not, not a lot of companies send out additional seals that I've seen so that is a nice touch to it in case you come across a leak you can repair it yourself and from what it looks at like, from what it looks like they are very very simple to work on they're pretty straightforward uh, so it should be very easy to work on these the other thing that they come with is magazines yeah, let me flip these over so you can see it says uh, uh, TJS on them they are aluminum in here uh, in here there so I believe these are 10 to 12 round magazines I haven't counted them yet um, let me do a quick count here with you. So uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Yep, so ten round magazine on there as you can tell. Like I said, aluminum, they're really nice. They fit really nicely into the action on both of these guns. They are identical for both of these as well. Um, the ones we have here are 25 caliber as well. You can see it shows you what way you're going to rotate out here to load the magazines. So 25 caliber, I believe they do have these in 22 caliber as well. Um, I am not too sure if they have it in 177. But we got that out of the way. Now let's talk about the air guns themselves. Um, the one we got here, this is the Air Cuda Max. Um, nice thing about this one, it's regulated. Yes, it's regulated. And I'll tell you the price range on that in a little bit. I just want to talk about it, so we'll leave that price at the end after I'm done talking about everything on here. So, nice thing about it. First thing that caught my eye is the thumb hole here. This thing is nice. It has nice gripping uh, on the buttstock itself. It does have a adjustable cheek riser on here. You just loosen the screw here, you go up and down. A nice rubber butt pad. It's comfortable, it's not super, super soft, and it's not super hard. It's actually really comfortable. I really like it. Um, as far as the wood, I am not sure what kind of wood this is. It looks like a walnut type wood, um, but it's really, really nice. It has a really nice finish on it. It's smooth, um, and you can see Right here, you see the detail on that, on the grip there, and then you got some more detail here. And down at the bottom, you can see your fill pressure gauge, and here is your regulated pressure gauge. So, this one here is regulated at 21, yeah, I think it's about 2100 psi. Uh, max fill is 3000 psi on these. Um, so it's a really nice gun. One thing that blew me away for the price point of this gun, and again, I'll get to their price point in a little bit. I just want to talk about it and then tell you so you guys are blown away. So 
the caulking mechanism on these are amazing. Real quick before I even caulk it, I'm just going to double check that my safety's on. It does have a safety lever here in the front. And let me show you guys right here. So this is your safety right there. That's safety off, safety on. So it's a really nice safety on there. It works really well. So I'm going to go ahead and caulk this. It is on safe. And hopefully you guys can hear the spring action on this thing. So you can see how quickly this pops out. So it has a nice tension on it. So that you pop it open, it goes all the way back and listen to this, how smooth this thing is. Super, super smooth. And you just pull it forward and you're good to shoot. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the safety off. I'm gonna hold this back and I'm gonna actually put some tension here, but I'm gonna let you guys hear this trigger. It is a two-stage trigger. I have not noticed if it's adjustable. I don't think it is, but it breaks nicely. So here, let's listen to this. So that's that second stage or first stage moving, and then it's gonna break. It's really nice. So again, now that the gun is safe, it's not loaded. That's how you unload the gun or decock it, as people would say. All right, so. Like I said, dual regulated, max fill pressure on this is 3000 PSI, it's regulated down to 2100. It is adjustable, uh, you gotta take the butt stock off, or the whole stock off. You gotta take the whole thing off, you can have the adjustments in there. And yeah, so we're gonna move on to the front end here. This one did come with a threaded shroud, which is really nice. Uh, has nice aluminum, fill caps so these are aluminum they're not plastic or anything you can see how heavy these things are um, regular phosphor fill fitting uh, which is nice it's a nice touch we don't want to be with finding fill adapters and stuff like that we all hate losing stuff so keeping it like that makes it simple easy for everyone so like I said it does have a threaded adapter on these well on this one actually this one didn't come with it but we'll get in, into that in a little bit um, so there's that and we're going to be doing a little bit of shooting in a little bit I'm going to get some accuracy shots and some velocities out of these as well And you're probably asking what scope is it or what scope is that? well uh, When GTS sent these guns out this scope was sent with us as well So I mounted it leveled it, made sure it was on there. So this is their GTS scope. This is a 4 by 16 or 4 through 16 by 50 scope. Um, it's really, really nice. Uh, the adjustments on it are nice and solid. They're smooth. Um, so I'm going to show you guys right here. Um, nice clicks on there. Oh, sorry. So uh, in order to adjust these, you pull out and you can hear the clicking on it. And then you just push down and it locks it in place. And let me bring this right here. So right here we also have illumination in the reticle. Let's see if I can get this on there for you guys. Uh, there's no battery in it, but it does have illuminated reticles. And the parallax is super, super smooth. And both of the turrets are nice. They're really nice. I do not know what the price range is on the scopes themselves. Um, I did not get... Uh, I do not know what the price range is on the scopes themselves. Um, I did not get that information, but from what it feels like, they are really, really nice for the price. Um, they did come with the scope caps, the flip-up ones. I took them off. Um, I left them behind, and I can, I forgot to bring them. But they're, they're decent scope caps. But the clarity on this thing is amazing. All right, so I'm in, pretty much, I think I am done talking about this one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and lay this down, and actually I'll switch places with this one. Alright, so this one, well, real quick, this one is the Air Cuda Max, just so you guys know the difference between them. Air Cuda Max is regulated. Alright, so the next one up we got here, this is the JTS Air Cuda. So this is your standard, it does not have a regulator. This is a direct bottle. Uh, valve opening 
uh, system, if that's what you'd like to call it. But one thing that this one has that this one does not have, it does have a small power adjuster here. So even though it's not regulated, you can still adjust your shots with it, which is really nice. Uh, and again, it has the same kind of trigger, same everything as that. The only difference be between this and that is a complete stock on it and it's not regulated. Other than that, everything else is the same, same barrel, uh, same internal workings, is the same caulking mechanism. And you can tell, you see that again and again. They're super, super smooth and they break nicely. So we got that. And I did end up putting my um, Element Helix on this to do some test shooting with it. Uh, I did take a couple of shots earlier today just to sight it in. Uh, it's very promising for both of these guns. It's very, very promising for the price point on them. Um, but again, um, you got your gauge down here. And I'll show you guys right here. So we got a fill gauge here. And these are 3,000 PSI max fill on both of these. Um, let's see, what else? Um, yeah, here, let me show you the, uh, the grip on this. So th this is more of your traditional rifle feel to it. This is more of a... Hunter, I'm going to say Hunter slash Tactical, if that's your word. Yeah, you know. All right, so let me show you some details here. So non-adjustable cheek riser, or buttstock, I mean. So can you see that grip on that wood there? It's really nice as well. And we'll bring this down, and you can see the additional grip in the front. Uh, this does have the same fill port as the uh, air cuda max it does have a different air tube on there it is a slightly uh, smaller diameter than the air cuda max um, but it's a really nice again it has a phosphor fitting in the front aluminum caps uh, so you're never gonna mess these up and they look really nice on there you see them on there right there really nice and you probably you guys are probably asking Come on, get to the price point. So, both of these guns are really, really affordable. And for what they are, I think they're really, really worth it. So, I'm going to start with this one since I got it in my hand. So, this one here is $320. And for what it is, it's a nice build. It's solid. Solid buttstock, solid chassis, everything. Um, or not chassis but body you know what I mean um, it does have a steel air cylinder uh, it's a shrouded barrel and you're probably asking well this one has a suppressor on it if you can tell here the little silver ring I actually had to make a custom adapter for it because this one did not come with a threaded adapter on there but I went ahead and machined one for it and we're hopefully going to have these in production for these when they are available. If not, I believe they might also come with it on. Uh, like I said, these are some first stage guns, they're not the actual final product. So this might actually come with an adapter already on it. So we're not sure on that one yet. But the shroud on this one and this one are identical. That adapter fits on this. So I don't see why they wouldn't put that adapter on there. So it might come with it, it might not. If not, then I already have the designs for it. We'll make them for you guys. So after talking price point on this one, the price point on this one is just $100 more. So $420 for this one. So $100 more gets you regulator, the buttstock with an adjustable cheek uh, riser on there, and a bigger air tube, and already comes with a half by 20 threaded adapter on there. Um, I am not sure again on the scope on how much that's going to cost so I can't really tell you much on that but I do know that it's a nice scope as well so I'm going to say this scope in my guess and don't quote me on this because I like I said I don't know how much it is I'm going to say it's not going to be more than $400. Uh, I'm going to guess between $250 to $400 bucks is what I'm guessing at with this. So I could be wrong, uh, but it's a really nice scope and I think it's worth that price range that I'm at. So if I actually get the price wrong, guys, I'm sorry. Like I said, I didn't get that information on that scope. But we're going to do some shooting, guys, and we'll see some results. 
I'll see you guys shortly. All right, guys. Well, we're here. I got a magazine. Got a couple of them. Uh, so I'm going to load one up, but I just want to show you guys the process of loading one of these magazines up. Uh, they're pretty straightforward. So pretty much your first one, you don't even have to pre-tension it. First one, you drop it in and you turn it. And as you're finding the hole in there, you back it out a little bit, drop the next one, turn. It was pretty straightforward. Very, very easy. So, yeah, that's the process on these. I really like how smooth it is to load these. Um, it's all aluminum, so you don't have that plasticky uh, feel to it. So, you know, it's a nice solid turn. There's no play in it. So, they're really nice. I really like their magazines. Uh, the internal mechanism, I know it's aluminum as well. The spring feels nice and I, I would say it's not over tightened. It's not super stiff, but it makes it loading easy. So I really can't complain. Let me see how nice it looks. It's all black anodized. It does have an O-ring right here, and that's what retains the pellets from falling through all the way. So yeah, really nice setup. They did a really good job on these magazines. I'm gonna load up this one. So I'm gonna do a couple of shot strings. Uh, just so you guys see what these uh, guns are capable of. So I actually just did about three shots and they all went in the same hole. And we're about 40 yards away from here, from where I set that target at. Um, I'll get you guys the exact yardage right now. Um, so yeah, uh, I do see some decent numbers. And this is with the unregulated one. We're seeing about 830-ish or so feet per second. Um, but like I said, it's unregulated. So the more you shoot, your shot count is going to drop or your point of impact is going to drop a little bit. But we all know that's going to happen with a non-regulated air gun. But good results. It's accurate. So we'll see, uh, we'll see what we get out of that. And I believe that one's done. That's it. So, yeah. Let's set this up so we can do some shot strings on there. this we're still good on air and we'll get you a shot string on there I don't know if you guys can see that right there yep it's all the way up can you see that all right so you'll be able to see this shot string here so I'm gonna do the whole magazine there i'm not going to be aiming at nothing yet so we'll do that after this shot string for you guys and get you guys some accuracy results uh just to let you know this gun does have a loud spring action inside but other than that it's nice and smooth so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and shoot Let's see oh it would work if i put a magazine in there Sorry guys. All right. Did that read it? Nope, I did. All right, one second. All right. Eight hundred forty-seven. Eight hundred. 800 870 872 Oh, done on that. One. 
to shift it over only one second. It's empty. <laughs> Let me load up another magazine. Someone's not keeping track on shots here, is he? All right. 877. If you guys are noticing that the velocities are going up, it's because my pressure is dropping down and the harmonic between the valve and the hammer are equalizing to its highest peak of velocity. So at 3000 PSI, your shot's going to be down, but as soon as it's that pressure starts dropping, your velocities are going to go up. So if this were to be a regulated air gun, those velocities would be more consistent. So we're going to see at what peak it starts dropping again. And then we'll check that pressure on, on for you guys. So right now, the pressure is at probably about 2,800 bar. Or sorry, 28 bar. 2,800 PSI. But uh, yeah, we'll see uh, where we're at. I'll read on that one second. So I'm going to guess 895 at about 27 to 2800 PSI is where your climax and this is with the transfer port opened up all the way. Um, so I, I think it's pretty good. Uh, if you are able to regulate this gun externally with an additional bottle outside, it will do really well. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish off this magazine, and then we'll get some accuracy shots on there. And, all right. Yeah, that's empty. Uh, let me just double check there's nothing in the chamber. 891. There you go, see? It dropped down. So, 895 is not bad. And let's see some numbers here. I'll tell you guys how many shots it recorded, and we'll... Uh, Review these here. All right. So that was 15 shots. Uh, we started out at 847 feet per second, and the highest velocity was 895. Let's see. Let's go back here. Uh, let's see. Trying to get you guys uh, all the detailed information. There we go. So high was 895, low was 847, average was 874 feet per second, spread was 48, and standard deviation was 18.3. So yeah, numbers are a little bit all over the place, but the shot consistency of the accuracy was actually spot on. It was really good. So maybe with a little additional tuning on this thing, uh, with a regulated external source you should be able to get some per uh, some pretty solid numbers so i'm going to go ahead and set up a target down range um, the ones i just stuck on the box just fell off so i'm going to get you guys some uh, accuracy shots there and we're going to be shooting at about 40 yards i'll get that uh, yardage exactly for you and we'll see where we're at see you guys in a little bit um i'm going to do a 10 shot group on the target, I got three little targets out there. I just sighted in just to make sure I'm still spot on on that. Uh, I'm going to be shooting at the top right target. Uh, so it's going to be a full magazine. 
so you guys can see how accurate we are at about well we're at 40 yards away and yeah so we're gonna go ahead and do that and we'll get you guys a picture of the target downrange all right so one second we'll go ahead and get started on this Actually, I went for the lower right target. So far, it's hole on hole, guys. That's really good. If I can get all these 10 shots in the same hole, man, this is amazing. This is really good. <laughs> that just went through the same hole. Maybe that was a little bit high, but it's still, they're all touching. I think that was it. I'm just going to take it just to make sure. Yeah, so. Alright, guys. We'll walk down range and we'll get this uh, footage and pictures for you. Let's uh, go on a field trip. Alright. So, this one here was my cider. This is all 10 shots that I just did right now. And you see how good that is. Look at that. Let me tilt that back, get a better view for you guys. So look at that. That's my pointer finger. That did really, really good. So, yeah. Very, very good results from that gun. So, now I'm going to go ahead and load up the uh, other gun. And we'll get you guys some shot results. I'm going to side in on the same one here. And then I'm going to shoot this one up here. All right, guys, so we're going to walk back over there again, and uh, we'll get that loaded up. We've got to top off the tank so we're uh, at full fill so you guys see what's going on. And as you guys saw with the uh, with the first shots that we did, um, I top off the tank. Now, you guys saw the shot string that it started, started out low and then high, but the accuracy stayed the same. So... I'm really surprised on this as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one off to the side and pull this magazine out. So I'm gonna need it. And cock it, safe, all right. So I'm gonna grab the other one, top it off with air and we'll start our next shot string. So this one is actually still full. So I don't need to put air in it, we're still good. I just need to load up the magazines, which you already saw the process for that. So, time lapse in three, two, one, go! All right. So, as you guys saw, we just uh, we just shot with the uh, Air Cuda. Now we're gonna shoot the Air Cuda Max. All right. So. These four are gonna be my side in shots. One second. Bring this over. 
I'm happy with that. All right. Lock that in place. Ten shots. Top right target. And again, hole on hole, very good results on the first three shots, guys. Still a good group. Well, that was all our shots. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out. Make sure this gun is safe. All right, guys, let's go check this out. All right, guys. So, this was my first sighting shot. Actually, sorry. This was my first sighting shot. Then I just did down on that. And then I aimed for the eight, went down a little bit, and I just did here. So, right here, I aimed for the orange circle there, as you can see. Good results. So, this is the only flyer I got, and I believe this was because of the table I was at. Or just because of a traditional flyer that we normally get. But, the rest of the shots were all there. You see how big that is. All right, guys. So good results. I'm very, very happy with what we got here. Here, check this out. That's the group on the back side for that. So you can see all where it all went, and then just went out, and then that one flyer there. But uh, yeah, good result, guys. I'm really, really happy on these guns for the price point. I think they're really, really good. I'm blown away. I'm very, very surprised. For the price of the Avenger, the Avenger is a great gun as well. It's very affordable for these ones as well. You know, they're very affordable guns and they're regulated. Well, one of them is regulated. The other one's not and it still did really good. So I can't wait to see what long-term testing on both of these uh, brings for us. So I believe that we got a good product on our hands here, guys. And I am really, really, really surprised of the results I was not expecting it. I was thinking, oh, it's another $300, $400 air gun. How good can it get? Well, we all saw what the Avenger can do, and I just saw what these can do. And like I said, I'm blown away. Good job, guys. So that's it for today, guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good night or a day, whatever. Have a good one. Happy shooting.